three, two, one. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Maddie, and I'm on the hunt for what I think is one of the most fun, interesting plants there is. Uh, I found out that they have some here at Cambridge University Botanic Garden, and I thought, yes, I absolutely have to go and see them for myself. It's a type of fruit, and it's packed with seeds. And the way this plant gets its seeds around is fascinating. <laughs> These are also commonly known as squirting cucumbers, although their actual name is this, Echalobarium elitarium or something like that. Here it is. <laughs> um, they get their name because their fruit look a little bit like a cucumber, the sort you would put in your salad, but you definitely would not want to eat these because they could potentially be very harmful to your digestive system. But they are from the same family as edible cucumbers. Uh, they're cucurbits. Also in that family are squash and pumpkins. Now these here, these bristly fuzzy little bits, these are the fruit and each one has about 20 to 40 seeds packed inside and they have a very explosive way of spreading them and I want to show you how. I've been given special permission to get in and amongst the squirting cucumbers and I've just put a little microscope lens on my phone so I can show you the fruit really close up. Now you can see them here, each one will grow to be about five centimetres in length and it's attached to the plant by the stem. Now that there is the weakest part, it's where the fruit will break off. Now inside the fruit each of the seeds is contained within a cell. You can think of it a little bit like the seed's own pocket and that pocket fills up with a gloopy liquid. As the plant takes on more and more water the cell will fill up and it will get bigger and bigger. Now when that's happening to all the seeds inside the fruit the fruit itself will start to swell until it gets so swollen it's a bit like an overfilled water balloon ready to burst and the seeds will travel maybe up to six meters away which is pretty impressive. As you can see the seeds can travel pretty far. In the wild the plant would rely on an animal to brush past it to set the fruit off but today that's going to be my job. So to buy myself a little bit of distance from the exploding fruit say hello to the pokey finger. Ready, three, two, one. Nope. Ah! Okay, nope. Oh. Woo! Three, two, one. You might be thinking, this is all well and good, Maddie. Um, it's lots of fun watching you explode cucumbers here at Cambridge University Botanic Garden. But why? Why would this plant have evolved to disperse or spread its seeds in such a oh, fun and brilliant way? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, I might even be covered in seeds now. Basically, by making sure that the seeds explode and spread to maybe six metres away, it means that when that seed grows into a baby plant, it's not going to be competing with the parent plant for the same water and nutrients. So by being further apart, it actually makes sure that both plants have the biggest chance of survival. Clever, isn't it? Unless, of course, a big human like me comes along and gets covered in the seeds. We think the ones that are ready to go, the plant and the leaves are slightly turning yellow and they tend to have stems around that they've already exploded off of. So this is looking good. Ready. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> wow. It works. It's an amazing method of seed dispersal, gang.
the explosive method is just one of the ways that plants manage to spread their seeds, but there are lots more. Um, some of my favourites include oak trees. They drop acorns and those acorns will roll further away but sometimes they might get snappled up by a squirrel and the squirrel will actually bury the seed somewhere else for the oak tree. Um, dandelions, you might have seen the dandelion fluff, well that is actually a seed and it's light enough to get carried by the wind to move it elsewhere and oh, blackberries. The seeds inside a blackberry might get eaten by an animal and actually the outside of the seed is strong enough for it to go all the way through that animal's digestive system and then get pooped out somewhere completely different ready for that seed to grow. But I have to say I do think that the squirting cucumber uh, explosive method has to be my favourite. Now, do you think we can get one more? It went, it went, it went. Oh, that's good. That was amazing. Wow, it went all the way. So it went all the way over there. Incredible. I really hope you enjoyed learning about another weird and wonderful plant here on my YouTube channel. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Three, two, one. <laughs> Missed. <laughs>